Hey you all, welcome back to my second episode of Vlogmas. I'm so excited to be doing this this year. Um, <clears throat> it's my first time, so please be kind. <laughs> um, but today I decided to, I wanted to share with you all my favorite um, holiday drink. Most of you know, and some of you don't know as well, um, I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, so one of our favorite holiday drink over there is called Coquito. And even though I live in the States now, I still make it every year um, for myself, for family, and for friends. And it's a really easy um, recipe to make. Um, it's delicious. It is very yummy. And you can add, you can make it non-alcoholic and you can make it with alcohol. Of course, I am going to make it with some Bacardi. Um, that's the alcohol that I prefer to use. Everybody makes it differently and that's okay So don't come at me telling me that I did that I did this wrong um, Because we all make things differently and that's okay. Um, this is how I make it and this is how I wanted to share it with you all so yesterday I went to TJ Maxx and <clears throat> I found the bottles that I was looking for. I They only have three, which is okay because I'm gonna make it for three of my neighbors for right now. Maybe later on I will make some more. They have these, they're a pretty big size. They have them for $2.99 and I got three of them. Um, I got two round ones and one square one. That's all they have, so it is what it is. And I found these cute little, um, I don't know what they're called, uh, gift toppers. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to wrap them around here after I pour in the drink. So I have to go to the store and get the ingredients, but I will be back. Well, I'm gonna bring you guys to the store with me so I can show you what I buy, and then we'll be back and then we'll make them. I'm excited, um, they're gonna look great. I love these bottles. They're a little pricey, but it's okay. It's a gift for my neighbors. Um, and that's totally fine with me. And I, um, this one was $6.99. This is a little pricey just for three of them, but it's gonna look great. So let's do that, let's go to the store. Here at Wally World, let's get these ingredients so we can make our holiday drink. So I got three cans of evaporated milk, I got three cans of coconut milk, and I got three cans of condensed milk. I also use Coco Lope, which I will show you guys when I get home because I already have some of those at home. And now I picked up some stuff that I need for the house. Now I'm just lost here in the aisles of Walmart looking at Christmas stuff that I don't need. So I am back home from the store. I am going to get this bottles cleaned. I want to take this off, the sticker, and then I'm going to rinse the, the inside off. To remove the sticker, I found this Go Gone in Amazon. <clears throat> it really helps not to leave any stickiness out. So I'm going to clean the bottles. Um, these are the items that I use. This is what I use. This is how I like to make my coquito. Everybody has their own recipes, like I said before, but I do one can of um, leche de coco. I do one can of cream of coco. Um, I do one can of evaporated milk and one can of condensed milk. I love adding lots of cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla extract. I, you can have this with alcohol or no alcohol. I love adding Bacardi. People make it with all kinds of different rums, different alcohols. I like using Bacardi. I feel this is what 
makes it taste a little bit better. Um, like I said, you don't have to have alcohol if you don't want to. It tastes really delicious even without the alcohol. So let's get this bottles clean and we'll get started with the recipe. Okay, so I have the blender here. Personally, um, even if I'm making multiple back, uh, multiple bottles of coquito, I like to do it one batch at a time. So one bottle, I just put this in one bottle at a time. So. It's really creamy. So for this one, you creamy a spoon. sugar and so sweet but so delicious but I'm not gonna do that while on camera So what I like to do, I like to measure my Bacardi with my crema de coco can. Um, so, yeah, pour it, pour it all. I like to do like a little bit over half of can of Bacardi like to make it strong. Just grab one cap, a little over one cap. Just eyeball it, it's gonna taste good. And then let's go with the canela, the cinnamon. Just keep doing it until Jesus tells you to stop. I think that's good.
again. And I'm going to move it to the next bottle because that's where we're going to do. So this bottle is done. And the leftover, what I do I wish you guys could smell this. So these bottles are for my friends. Um, I'm gonna uh, do a brand new batch of the Coquito and then this leftover is for myself. I cannot find the bottle that I use for myself right now, so I'm just gonna pour it in a bowl so I can get started with the other um, batch. So let's get started again. So I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to do it in a faster pace. Sure, it's even. Yeah. About the same amount. So I finished the last the three bottles and I still have some left over so I'm going to keep it for myself. I'm just okay using these Bacardi bottle, Bacardi bottle. so I'm just going to pour it in here for myself. So this recipe can get you a good three and a half bottles or, or more, depends on how much rum you add. This one is going to be for myself. I'm going to try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to share with you all how I decorate the bottles. love doing this. This is one of the parts that I really looked forward when my mom made it when I was little. I will get a spoon and I'll eat the leftover condensed milk. Not good for you, but it's really delicious. Look at the final product. I love these. I love my little sign. It says Santa, please bring more wine. <laughs> <laughs> 